take you through the process of taking your recovery phrase from Trust Wallet and then importing that wallet into MetaMask. So what you need to do is go to settings at the bottom, click that, and then figure out which wallet uh, has your car tokens. For me, it's Multicoin Wallet 2, and then click the three buttons on the right right here, and then it'll pull up and say, show recovery phrase. So you'll click show recovery phrase, and then it'll ask you for your PIN or your password, and then you click, uh, you know, confirm, I understand the risks, and then your recovery phrase pulls up. For this one, it's a black screen, so that's all you'll see in the video, but for you, it'll say your recovery phrase, and there will be a list of 12 words. So you can either write these 12 words down, or you can just copy them. For me, I'm just going to copy them, and then I'll put them in Telegram. So these are the ones, these are the 12 words. So once you have them, we're going to go over to MetaMask. So let's go over there. In MetaMask, you'll see that to add an account, you go up here and it says import account. Now, if you click that, it says paste your private key string. Well, from Trust Wallet, you have your mnemonic phrase, which is those 12 words. So you don't have your private key and there's no way to just import from a mnemonic phrase on MetaMask. So what you need to do is come to this website. I'll have it linked in the description. This is open source code. Um, and you can actually use this offline. So what I'm going to do, if you're worried about, uh, you know, this website maybe taking your seed phrase or something like that, it's easy to do. Just shut your internet off. So I shut my internet off. Now I'm not online. But like I said, you can still use this. So take those 12 words from your trust wallet. So here are mine. I'm going to copy them. And you're going to paste them into the uh, BIP39 mnemonic. So you just paste that. And then it's going to pull up all of this information. Now, make sure under coin that you have Ethereum selected. I think by default, it says Bitcoin. So just make sure you go down and click Ethereum. Now, below, it's going to say derivation path. Keep it on BIP44. That's what you want. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll notice that your first address is the public address. You can confirm it. Just look at your trust wallet uh, receive address, which is the public address. And this is mine. So in order to uh, use this wallet from Trust with MetaMask, you have to come over here to the private key. So if you come over here to private key, just copy it, and then you'll pull it into MetaMask. So go up to MetaMask at the top, and then hover over this, uh, this little color thing. And then you'll go down to import account, click that, and it's gonna say paste your private key. You're going to paste that in and click import. And as soon as you do, it's going to pull up. Now I can confirm that this is that same wallet because it has that one AA1, which is the same from my trust wallet. So it's easy to confirm that. Uh, now this is on the Robston network, uh, test network. I don't actually have any crypto on this wallet. This is just for, uh, for the purposes of this video. But anyway, I have the five ETH from the Ropsten test network, which is what I got. Uh, I, I plugged it on, on a ETH Ropsten uh, faucet so that I would get this 5 ETH. And uh, anyway, so this just confirms that if you want to take your car tokens and you want to put them uh, into staking, you need to do it through MetaMask. This is the method for that. So again, you'll get your mnemonic phrase from your trust wallet. You'll go to this website which I'll have linked in the description, you paste it here, and then you scroll down, uh, you paste it there, you make sure you have Ethereum selected, you scroll down, and then you copy the first private key or the private key that matches the address. So for me, it was just this first one, 1A1. Now, if it doesn't show up, then the, your derivation path, make sure you confirm that that's BIP44, because then that will be what pulls up uh, your private key. Anyway, just take that, click MetaMask, click there, import account, paste it there, and, uh, and then you'll have access to your account. So that's how you do it. And then from there, you can head over to the staking website, and, uh, and then you can stake your tokens. All right, so that is how you use your trust wallet uh, with MetaMask.